Right, so the office situation is still ongoing. So to that end, again, today's video is going to be a reasonably short one. Uh, the whole thing's taking a lot longer to sort out than I originally anticipated it would. Now, many of you might remember that late last summer I fitted the Moton duckbill front fender or mudguard, depending on what you want to call it, to the front of the T120. And at the time it received something of a mixed reception, although from what I can gather sales on it have been very good. Well, front fenders are a difficult thing to design because it would seem that everyone wants something different from a front fender or a rear fender for that matter. Some people want them short, some people want them really short, yet some people want good weather coverage so they want them long. So no matter what they do, people like Moton Customs when they design a new fender can really win because there's always someone that wants something different to what they've actually put into production. Now I personally loved the duckbill fender, in fact I think of all the parts and accessories that I've reviewed over the last year or so, that has been one of my favourites. It's a sort of a half length guard, which I personally think is a good compromise. And I think that 1950s, early 1960s pressed metal look really does set it apart from everything else that's on the market. Now, as I explained a few weeks ago, I've got quite a cache of Moton parts sitting in one of my spare rooms. And I seriously need to start making some inroads on them. So this week I thought we'd have a look at one of their relatively new polished alloy front mudguards for the T120 and some of the other water-cooled twins. And I would describe this as a three-quarter length mudguard, so it's not full length like the original, but it is a little bit longer than the duckbill. So for those of you who want a slightly better weather protection, this one might hit the spot. I suppose you could describe this as a race blade. In the late 1950s, early 1960s, in an effort to make racing motorcycles as light as possible, a lot of the racing teams reverted to aluminium parts. And of course your ton-up boys wanted something very similar for their bikes to mimic their heroes. But in that post-war era, aluminium was pretty expensive. In fact, most of the aluminium produced in this country was earmarked for export. So a genuine alloy mudguard fitted to a bike of that era here in the UK would have been considered very exotic. Manufacturers for the UK market of course responded with steel mudguards which were chrome plated to mimic these pieces of alloy racing equipment. And in fact chrome plated steel was a feature of most UK production bikes and the Japanese bikes right into the early 1980s. Now the design of this mudguard is a classic clean cut mirror polished alloy and although I'm painfully aware that the words Moton Customs and the words high quality are becoming something of a cliche in my videos but the fact remains that it is high quality. These haven't simply been stamped out on some machine, they're hand rolled and hand formed to fit the profile of the Bonneville exactly with a generous thickness of aluminium used in its construction. Fitting, as you would expect for a front fender, is very simple. Moton have made the fixing holes slightly over large, something which is incidentally a feature of the original Triumph mudguard. So a little bit of lining up by eye to ensure that it fits true and straight is required. And it's a design that's not going to look out of place either on your classic cafe racer build 
or even if you want to make some alterations to the bike without deviating too much from its original classic looks. Now the overhaul of the mudguards or fenders for this bike doesn't stop here. In the next few weeks I will be fitting a matching polished alloy rear fender to the bike along with one of Motone's new lights. So keep an eye open for that one. Now I will of course as always leave a product link to Motone's website for this fender in the video description down below. Once again thanks very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video and that you've found it useful. If you have enjoyed it please leave a like and subscribe to my channel. I'm going to be back next Wednesday with the Payday project series where we'll just be doing some further tidying up of the front end of the bike. So until then please ride safely and I'll see you soon. <laughs>